So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my bag with all my pieces of oven baked clay. And I'm going to make some beads out of these first. So I'm going to take a few little pieces like that start by rolling them out. So with the oven baked clay, you want to bake it in the oven at 275 and for every quarter of an inch of thickness, you're going to bake it for 20 minutes. So the smaller your beads, the less time it will take to bake them. So I'm going to take all those little snakes and twist them all together. See how all the colors are now mixed in. Okay. And I want to swirl this a little bit more, so I'm going to fold it in half, give it a little twist, and roll it again. Okay. So I like the way that looks. All the colors are sort of mixed roll together. So now I'm just going to fold it up into a little ball. And roll it up. Okay. Then you're going to take your toothpick, set the bead down on the table, press the toothpick all the way through until it comes out the other side like that. And now just to make sure that I have the hole inside widened enough so that I can fit my string through, I'm just going to roll it on the table just a little bit. Okay. And there we go. So I have that bead. I made a couple more earlier. So those are all going to get baked. I'm going to continue to make some more beads. quite a bit of Sculpey left. So I am going to continue making some beads and then I'm going to put these all into the oven to bake. And while these are baking, uh, we can work on our watercolor wood beads. Okay, so you also received in your kit uh, some wood beads and three different colors of watercolor paint. So this uh, kit, I have purple, orange, and green. So I am going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to start painting beads. It's a good idea to put something down on the table before you start. So I have a piece of cardstock down just to catch my drips.
I have uh, one coat of paint on most of my beads. Um, once they dry, you can actually go back and add a little bit of extra color. So if you missed a spot or you just want to make the color a little bit darker, you can go back and add another layer over top of the watercolor. The other thing that works really well too is if you take your bead and you can dip it right into your paint container and roll it around and let it really soak up some of that color. And then let it dry. So I'm gonna leave these and let them dry. Now my next job that I need to do to create my mobile is I need to go on a little scavenger hunt. So you're going to head outside and you want to go and find the best stick you can possibly find. So I found this guy out in my backyard. Um, I brought it in the house. I made sure there weren't any little critters attached to it and gave it a little rinse in the sink and then left it to dry for a little bit. So you can see it's a really nice straight piece of stick. Um, couple little branch little knots in there and stuff but overall it's a good good hanging stick so things are gonna hang off of here we're gonna tie everything on and uh, this will be our base for our mobile okay so I have all of my beads and pieces and parts ready to go so I am ready to assemble my mobile so I have over here um, all of the wooden raw beads that I painted earlier with watercolor this little pile here are all of the oven baked clay beads that I rolled out and made and I've baked them uh, in the toaster oven for 20 minutes at 275 and you can hear they're nice and hard. I have my bag of extra beads so I've got a variety of little plastic beads and little wooden beads. So I'm just gonna pour these guys out into a tray to make it a little bit easier to get a hold of them and so they're not all rolling away. Uh, I went out in my backyard and found a really great stick to use as the base for my mobile. And I've started with my center string here, so my first piece of my mobile, and you can see that I have strung some of my beads together. So I started with one of my watercolor beads and then just sort of spaced all of my different types of beads out till I got to the end or what I wanted the end to be. I didn't want the middle one to be too long. And I left a little bit of space from the stick so it hangs down a little bit. Okay, and don't worry about any of the little tails on the strings. We'll trim those all off after. So now I'm gonna take my next string and I'm going to attach it to my stick. Not okay. Okay, so if you have a little um, embroidery needle or a little um, sewing needle at home, this will really help you to um, get the beads on a little bit easier. If not, the other thing that works really good is just a piece of tape, a little bit of masking tape, and you just wrap it around the end to make a nice kind of firm um, end on your string so that it will go through the beads a little bit easier. I'm just gonna thread this. So now I have my needle on the end and I'm ready to rock. So I'm gonna start with one of my watercolor beads and I'm just going to continue to thread on a variety of different beads. I'll put a raw wood one on here, add in a couple plastic ones. So I like to add them to my needle. thread them on so you can see all my little bead combo there. Okay, so I am going to continue to thread my beads together and then I'm going to attach my other side of my mobile and then we will see it all finished.